So as a software engineer, there's just a lot of times you need to tell the LLM and the coding tool how you want things done. Because there's a lot of things that the vibe coding tools are not very good at. And as soon as you identify those things, one of your roles as a software engineer is to write workarounds that make it easier for the LLM to do what it needs to do. So one thing that I found the LLMs are really bad at is working with databases. And no matter how you structure it, no matter how many MD files you create and how many model files you create, the vibe coding tool is going to make a lot of mistakes when it comes to working with the database. And so for that reason, I created a class library to be more forgiving for the LLM and to route all the LLM's code through a single class library so there isn't a lot of SQL written all over the application. So there's a link to my GitHub library for this in the uh, in the comments if you want to take a look at it. But what I found is I needed to make it more forgiving. So if the vibe coding tool decides to insert a record and uses a column that doesn't exist, I put it in a JSON column and that's a JSON structured. If if it queries a column that does not exist, it's going to be forgiving and it's going to let it go and it's just going to return null. And the reason I had to do this is that it's so difficult to debug your code when you're getting 500 errors because the database cannot figure out what to do. So this way, I just put together a routine where I let it make the mistakes. I see the mistakes that it's made because of my class library and the way that it writes to the tables. And then I just fix it on my, on my own. There's times that as a software engineer, you're just going to have to step up and take control back from the LLMs.